I think, um, you know, we came out with energy, but they came out with less energy in the third quarter. And I would just say, like, sometimes when we have decent first halves and coach kind of gets into us at halftime, we just have to adjust and really realize we got to pick up the energy. So sometimes we can jump on teams, but sometimes this is the flow of the game as well. So it's, I don't really know, like, one thing to put on that, but, um, yeah. <clears throat> what leads to locking in defensively like that? Is that just, is that a group, like, mentality thing? Is that an effort thing? Who starts that? Like, is it just a collective? Yeah, like I said, it's part on us, you know, being more intentional about really trying to get stops, get out run. And a part of it is on the team that we're playing, not playing with as much of force or energy and then not making any shots. So we definitely came out a little sluggish, but at the same time, I think um, in that third quarter, yeah, they didn't come out as aggressive. I didn't feel it. Does your mentality change when you're playing with the second unit? A little bit. I think uh, just in terms of toughness of shots, um, that I can hit that are that feel pretty easy to me, but in the first unit you don't have to force at all because if I'm not getting a wide open three, then um, <clears throat> you know we can keep moving and things like that. And the second unit is like uh, Reggie's a primary ball handler, the main creator. But for me to be out there with him, you know, take the load off of him, I think it's, it's good. It was like getting Aaron back tonight. It was great. Yeah, I was really happy that it wasn't like a prolonged thing. You know, um, his spirits are really high, so it was really good to have him back out there. Were you in touch with him consistently over the last few days? Yeah, was, I was in yeah. touch with him. Uh, he was, yeah. I'm sure he had a lot of texts, but yeah, we was, we was hitting each other back and forth, for sure. Um, I'm just glad he's, he's okay. And um, yeah, it didn't seem as bad as it was. It seemed, you know, um, when we didn't know really how bad it was, it was good to just be able to talk to him and see his spirits being high and everything like that. What kind of response have you had since the podcast with uh, Nicola? Um, <clears throat> what did you think of it? I thought that was great, but yeah. it might be the only one he ever does. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, everyone's been super positive about it, you know. Um, I think it was good, you know, just for people to get to know him in a comfortable space. It was really fun for me, and it's so weird that he has never done podcasts because it wasn't like I had to convince him to do it or anything. I just hit him, texted him one time, like, yo, bro, I got this new project going, this new podcast, like, would you hop on? He was like, yeah, brother, anytime. So it just shows, like, how... Nicola is to, towards the people that he would call friends, you know what I mean? And it was just, it was easy. So um, it's been a lot of positive feedback, um, you know, and I'm hoping to get some more, you know, players on in the future. For sure. All right, it's, it's, how was your response from Serbia? Brother? I haven't gotten to see a whole lot of comments. Like I'll scan through some of the comments, like the YouTube comments yeah. um, once in a while, but I won't really pay too much attention. I'm not on social media right now. Uh, but you know, his brothers, they loved it. They, they approached me, said they liked it. Uh, his wife said she watched it right away. I think I think uh, people really enjoyed it. Hey, Mike, compared to the start of the season, how's your ankle feeling? Yeah, my ankle's pretty good. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Uh, you guys have, uh, gosh. Okay, I'm sorry, I was just gonna answer. That's your question, I have no idea what it was. It's all good. Well, what's, it, rush. what's it been like to have uh, guys like Ish, guys like Jeff, guys from last year's team back in the building and have those, uh, moments with them? Um, yeah, nah, it's just, you know, one of our brothers that we won a championship with, um, he's one of my favorite teammates I've ever had, so it's good he got his ring tonight, they didn't lose the ring, um, <laughs> we're, happy, we're happy for him, uh, and yeah, um, that's good, who, is that the only guy, who, is Bruce, the only, Bruce, 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 Bruce and Thomas, then Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, okay, yeah, yeah, no, so we're excited every time someone comes, comes through and gets their ring, we're, we're really happy. You're making a joke about, I don't know if everybody knows that story. The, the joke I don't even made. think I got the story. I don't know what happened. I just know Jeff was supposed to get it that one night. They might have postponed it because his family was going to be in the next game. I don't know if it was lost. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>